Thank you for calling support. My name is Kelvin. How can I help you today? Um, hello, Kelvin. Um, I'm calling because I have a message on my screen that says access to the computer is blocked for security reasons. Please contact Microsoft support. All right. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear about that, miss, but I'll be happy to help you. Whenever there is a Trojan type spyware detected on your network or your computer, that's when a Windows Defender security blocks your security, your computer from security reasons, all right? Why would I be blocked? I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, uh, uh, yes, yes. Let me explain you again. In a simple words, I can say is somebody else tried to take over your computer without your concern, miss. That's the reason. But don't what? worry, miss. I'll be, ha I'll be there to help you. You're calling me miss. Yes, yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a married woman. My name is Patricia Warren. Mm -hmm. I would I would really appreciate if you'd call me Mrs. Patty. Mrs. Patty, okay. Yeah, Mrs. Patty. All right, I'm sorry, miss. Don't call me miss. I'm a married uh, uh, woman. Yes, I am not a miss. I'm a missus. Uh, I'm a married woman. Okay. Respect my okay, marriage. Ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am either. Uh, ma'am is used for an elderly woman. I'm a missus. Okay, Mrs. Patty, I'm sorry. And I really don't want to be called ma'am. Why are you calling me ma'am? Okay, ma'am. I'm sorry for that, Patricia. You're not calling me by my first name. I don't know you. You can call me by my, my, my name, Mrs. Patty. Hey friends, it's Play Ray. The sponsor of this video, Aura, has inspired me to talk about the woes of the internet world. You see, with all that social networking we've been doing, we're bound to come across hackers and spammers on the dark web, and it's important that it be taken care of. Aura is a company that will scan the dark web for your personal information. Aura will also unenroll you with data broker services you are probably enrolled in as we speak. Aura is the number one identity theft protection service rated by security.org, providing fraud monitoring, antivirus protection, password management, and VPN rolled into a single low-cost package. Don't risk your personal information on the dark web. Go to aura.com slash moderpaul to sign up for a free two-week trial to find out if your personal information is compromised. I apologize, Mrs. Patty. So firstly, your device is suspecting a Trojan virus, which means uh, there's a Trojan, there's an infected file in your device and uh, Microsoft Security is trying to capture that Trojan, and that is why, because of security reasons, your device has been blocked. And uh, the, the Trojan virus. I don't even know virus, what is a Trojan usually... virus. What is a Trojan virus? I, I don't. Sure. Know. So the Trojan virus is for the networks. It can compromise your IP address, and people use like hackers use this virus. Uh, on the networks so they can get into the device and they can take out your banking credentials so that is why okay. uh, they do it what do you mean by network I, I don't pardon? even I really don't know what you mean by network network is your Wi-Fi like when you are connected oh, my yes. Wi -Fi? yes like right now you you must be connected to your Wi-Fi router no am I right no you're wrong I don't use Wi-Fi okay then you must be using LAN. A lamb, like an animal. Like a LAN connection, like a. Like an animal, a lamb, uh, no, or no, no. a goat. <laughs> no. I it's don't a have a lamb or a goat. Like an internet cable. Oh, an internet cable. Yes, that's what, what I have is an internet yeah, cable. Yeah, internet cable. But I'm not. I don't yes. have anim I yes. don't have animals. Is... I don't have an animal in the house. I live <laughs> in the city. Why are you saying I have a lamb? I understand. 
La, not lamb. I said lan. L Lima Alpha November. Lan. What's a lan? Yes. What lan. is that? What is that? The wire that land? you're using right now. I don't know what lan uh, means. The wire which that you. Uh, I'm providing information about that. So a cable is called. I'm not a sure land. about that. You don't know what lan means. Uh, no. Okay, me land either. Land refers to the land connections. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. There are like a lot of terms, and we don't know about that, and that's totally okay. Okay. These are the technical uh, terms, and I'm not sure why they use it, but that's okay. And uh, first, we will connect your device to the secure server of Microsoft. My email credentials and my banking passwords are at risk. This is high emergency. Yes. I'm calling you because I have a threatening yes. message. I need your help. Yes. And you're acting like it's a walk yes, in the that's park. What I'm doing. So you need to step up your encourage. You step up your 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 oath. Act like you want to help. You sound like you're bored. Okay, ma'am. Like, firstly, calm down. Don't like, call um, me if now. You want my help? Do not call me now. Step it up and help me. You sound like you're half asleep. Okay, I apologize for that. Now, at the very bottom of your screen, you will see a magnifying glass or a search bar. Yes, there, I it see must it. be saying, "Type here to search." No, it doesn't. Click on it, it just, please, and it type. Doesn't, it doesn't say type here to search. It just says search. Yes, you can click on it. Okay, it doesn't say type here to search. Uh, you have to type quick, like Q as in Quebec, U as in uniform. It should be Q as in Queen, I. not Quebec. Why are you using Quebec as Q? That's stupid. Q as in Queen. Uh, I don't... Quebec is a country uh, I would okay. never go to. What what is wrong with you? Q is in Queen. Uh, it's not the. That is so stupid. Uh, Quebec is not the country. This is the officially uh, which is being used. So that's how it is being used. So that is what I'm saying. You can say Quattro. It's not A as an apple anymore. It's A as an alpha. Uh, but uh, this is not the official. So that is why we have to use it. What am I spelling? What what is the word I'm spelling? It's uh, Q. U. I, as in Indiana, C, as in Charlie, K, as in Kilo. Oh my God. Are you telling me that I do not know how to spell the word quick? Really? All it you had to matter. do. I'm just helping all, you with that. All you had to do was tell me to type the word quick. It's not that hard. I, you don't have that. to spell. You I've don't have already. to spell it. Why are you spelling a simple word? Okay. If I ask you to type because it makes, uh, the word me, to, you to type I want and, you to type the um, word me. Firstly, it's M as in Mary, then E as in Edward. That's how you type the word me. God, you're, you're stupid. Okay, and... Uh, when, I, when I typed quick... It says quick assist. Mm -hmm. You need to open it. You are slow in the head, aren't you? You're one of those ones that didn't quite... I understand. You're probably the least favorite child. Your mom said, ah, make him go mm -hmm. clean up his room. Let Timmy work in the kitchen with me because you are just slow as it goes. Okay, it says get help. Mm -hmm. Let someone you trust mm -hmm. view your screen or take control of mm -hmm. your PC. Security code from assistant. Mm -hmm. Stop saying uh huh. Yes. It's me. Stop saying uh huh. What do I type? It says enter code. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's your name, by the way? It's a Stanley. Hi, Stanley. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good. I hear cars honking. Why? Uh, because uh, I'm working from home today. And you're out in the middle of a street? No. 
and this Work. is this apartment and it has a window Work. close the window it's irritating me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i asked you to close your window i can hear traffic outside close your window it's closed now i just heard a beat where are you, New York City? Mm hmm How do you know? Because it sounds like New York City to me. Close your window. It's closed now. Okay. So, uh, I think something is wrong with that. So, I have to try another method. It wants me to type a website? It's a very, very top. At the... I know how to type yes. a website. What is, the web... what is the website? God, you're slow. Get screen me is sharing your screen. Oh, so you can see my screen. Uh, just give me a quick moment. Yes. So you can see my screen. This is the message that I received on my computer. So what does it mean when my banking passwords and email is at risk? Stanley? Uh, because of the IP, because your IP um, has been IP? compromised. What is IP? And because of that, what is IP? I can show you. IP is the your the device that you are using right now. This device has its uh, own IP address, which is the permanent uh, address. What does IP device. stand? What does IP stand for? Uh, Internet protocol. And what does that mean? Uh, the name is uh, like as I've already explained to you. Like IP is the like permanent address of the specific devices that you have. Can you see okay. the local addresses over here? My address is on Redwood Road. It isn't at a bunch of numbers. My local address is not No, I'm talking about like the laptop. That. I have no idea what you're talking mm -hmm. about. If you want to understand that, I can like uh, simply make you understand about it. But if you don't want to understand, then I cannot help you with that, right? I would like to know. Oh, sorry, you're not gonna been, make. Uh, you're gonna. You're gonna make me understand. Yes. That's what a mafia yes, criminal does understand. to their victims. They say, "I'm gonna make you understand." I would like you to teach me. Tell me what it what it is. Don't make me. I'm gonna make you okay, understand. Uh, I would like to inform you that I will not be able to help you if you will. If you will act like that, I will not be able to help you in your this device, and your device will be logged. And the hackers have the control in your device, and they can mess up your device. If you I'm want me to help you right I'm now, simply, then you have to be a little simply, patient and be a okay, little I'm, good. I'm because you are being you. rude, right? And no, you don't have to be rude. Because I'm trying to help you, right? And if you don't want my help, that's okay. I can no, get out you of your device, and you can like call somebody Stanley. else, and they will help you. Stanley, if you want to help someone, you don't make yes. them understand. The way you are saying, which is also very rude, and I have not, like, I have, like, I have not uh, told you that, that you're being rude, but now I'm telling you that you're being rude. I you don't have understand. problem with the, the way I say, like, the way I'm doing things, you have problem with that already, right? And, uh, and it makes me, like, not help you. And I don't want to help you if you, if you will be rude to me. I'm not being rude. I'm just saying, when you say you're going to make someone understand, it sounds like a threat. So you're it threatening me. It makes sense you're to threatening you, right? me. No, gonna, I was not. Gonna, I was, I'm understand? just trying to help you. Okay, then you should have said, I'm going to help you understand. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to make you understand, and I hope yeah. you'd, you you understood what I'm trying to, what I tried to say, right? I, I don't know what, I don't know what this address is. These are the ad, uh, IP addresses of your devices. But the problem is, can you see the, those foreign addresses? These are the yes. IP address, which is not your device. So it's somebody else's device, which is in your network. And uh, they okay. can easily get into your device because they have the, uh, they have the, you can say, permission. Are those foreign addresses permanent, like the local They're address? They're not permanent. No, these are not your device, and these are not permanent. It's just they are in your network. It's somebody else devices it's not your devices okay so the foreign addresses aren't permanent but my local address is permanent yes local address is your permanent one 
you can say. That's all. So first we have to get rid of uh, those IP addresses from your device. And for that, I'm running a scan. It says banking hacked, IP compromised, call MS support. And, and that's what I've done. I've called you. Mm -hmm. I've called you. Mm -hmm. Now we have to follow procedure. And for that, I have to, uh, you have to open your personal information in first. So I have to get out of your device first, okay? Get screenshot? What does that mean? Uh, this is the server application. Uh, because the, the server that uh, we are using, which is a Microsoft server. He was thinking so he would install another remote app so he can disconnect the first one and make it look like he wasn't connected so I can check my bank. But he totally blew it. This guy is fumbling around. He doesn't know what to do. I want to tell him, go to any desk and install it. That way you can still see my screen after you disconnect. But that, that's too much of a lead up. He doesn't know what he's doing. All right, now what you have to do, you can close this window. I'm out of your device now. There's is it two... your account or it's your husband's account? It's a joint account. It's both. What it's are you talking account, about? Okay. You don't even know what a bank account okay. is, do you? God, you're, you're slow. Like, make sure that you're checking your all your accounts. And if you have any unauthorized charge, which is not done by you, oh. then you can let me know about it, okay? There's nothing in my bank that concerns me, if that's what you want to ask me. Oh, okay, that's okay. I don't know why you're having right, me log into my bank. Just give me a quick moment, bank. please. I have no idea why you have me log into my bank. There's nothing there. Because of the uh, report we have received, so we have to like make sure that uh, there is no um, like suspicious activity. So that is why we have to do that, right? This guy's as new as it gets. Uh, I'm literally new as it gets. My guess is he's maybe had this job for three days at the most. It says threat. Detected. Don't worry about that first. I have uh, a question. I have a question. It says threat detected. Trojan spyware. What is that? Trojan spyware. Um, as I've already informed you about that. No, you uh, haven't. I haven't already informed you about that. Like, no, uh, you, you haven't. Know. You haven't told me it's what a, it means. Uh, about the Trojan, that it is a virus which is being used by hackers, so they can get into your device and they can mess up your device, right? With all of this said and what we mm -hmm. know. What are you going to do about it? You don't sound like you really understand. We are understand. working on it. Please what are you it. doing? We are working on it. What are you doing? Ma'am, the scan is running already at the background. So we are just waiting scan. for it to complete. I don't and see also, a scan we are running. creating a report for you. Oh, you're creating a report. Okay. Will I get to see the report? Yes. Also, I would like to inform you that you do not have the Microsoft account. So we have to create one for you. I have a Microsoft account. So what email you would like? I have a Microsoft account You have already. Microsoft account? Right, I'm not logging into it either. But I... I'm not gonna log into it. Because the minute I do that, I get these pop-up advertisements. I don't want those. I want help with this Trojan spyware. I don't wanna create a new account. Why are you doing this? I have enough accounts. I don't want a whole new one. May I talk to somebody more senior than you? You don't sound like you really know what you're doing. Sure. You really don't. You're the lamest help desk rep I've ever talked to. At my work, they run circles around you. Can I talk to somebody with some brains and balls? You don't have either. Mrs. Next. Pat, I'm sorry for interrupting you. It's Mrs. Patty, not Mrs. Fat. Why are you calling Mrs. Fat? Mrs. Miss... Patty. Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Patty. Patty. I'm sorry. Can you help me out with that? It's 65. What after that? So, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Spell that out, please. You don't know how to spell the word south? Really? Okay, south. Okay. What after that? Redwood. I couldn't understand. Red wood. Wood that is colored red. Is it? Redwood. 
Road. Okay, what? Mm -hmm. R O A D. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Salt Lake City. You want me to spell salt? What city? I'm sorry. Salt. S is in sunshine. Tell me when you're ready for the next letter. Mm -hmm. A is in apple. L is in London. Mm -hmm. T is in Thomas. Mm -hmm. And then lake. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to spell lake? Mm -hmm. L is in London. Wake. W A. Okay. No, there's no W. Lake. Yeah, lake, like water. Okay, got it. I got the lake. And then city. Yes, got it. What after that? And then the word city. Mm hmm. Okay, what after that? Utah. Do you want me to spell it? Please. You don't know how okay. to spell Utah. Where are you located? No, it was facing, like, I was facing a hard time understanding your accent. That is why I'm facing this. But that's okay. Can you help where, me out with the... Where are you located, code? Stanley? Where are you located? I'm, I'm located in uh, New York. And you don't know the name Salt Lake City, Utah? Really? Thank you for that. Give me a quick moment. Let me verify this address. Close your window. I asked you this is the third time. Close the window to your cardboard box apartment. Uh, if you will not stop screaming, I will not be able to help you, okay? I'm hearing the sounds of cars. That's why I'm yelling. It hurts my ears. Close Just be your patient, window. Okay? I am. Close your window so it doesn't I have interrupt. closed it already. How long have you worked for Microsoft? Two years. So you worked for Microsoft for two years, and you're stumbling over everything that you try to do. No, I'm not. You're stumbling, I can tell. It's just, uh, you are being unpatient. No, I'm not. I am fumbling, like maybe you can say that, but I, I have it's just because of you, because you are being rude and you're being... I'm not you being are yelling rude. at me, that is why. I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at you because no. it's I'm yelling at you because it's so loud where you're located. I can hear cars in the street. I want to make so sure it's that not you my can fault, hear me. right? I understand, but still I'm trying to help you, right? I'm trying my best to help you. And it seems like that you don't want my help and uh, you're not being yes. patient with me. Yes, I want your help. It says that my banking password and email are at risk. Of course I want your help. Yes. Can you it's... also help me out with your date of birth, please? No. No. I am above the age of 21. That's all you need to know. I'm not telling you my birth date. Uh, to create the account, it's required that, and that is why I was asking. Okay, October 12, 1987. Where are we going with this? I, I don't understand the question. You told me you were generating a report. Do you have the report? No, I'm just waiting for it from my okay. team. Just give me a moment. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really concerned, Stanley. About what, Mrs. Uh, Pet? It has been an hour, and you have done nothing. I can tell you're working out of an apartment. You're clearly not in a professional environment. I was expecting to contact a Microsoft tech inside of the corporate environment, but you're working from home. It sounds to me like there's something wrong uh, here. You um, don't sound you don't sound like you know what you're doing, um, to be honest. I think you need to I think you need to consider a new uh, line of work. Get a new line of work. You're not good at this. Okay. And I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. I understand that you must be worried about it. And yeah, you must you're, be you're, getting late. But, you're, a do, uh, you're, you're, you're a do nothing mm -hmm. person. I can imagine maybe you're on some kind of probation. Maybe they're making you work from home because you don't dress well enough or you probably don't bathe. And so they said, you can't work in this office, so you have to work from home because you stink. It's either that or you're just so dim bulb. You can't work in an office because they won't uh, let you. They're not letting you go in the office for a reason, Stanley. It's because you're not good enough. And why are you saying that? Why are you being rude? 
Why are you not in a corporate office where the other techs are? Why are you hobbling it from home? Because this that a, thing, why? Because two days I work from office and uh, three days I work from home. So they're they're make they're punishing you, obviously. No, they no, they they're won't. not punishing me. I don't think you know what you're doing, to be honest. You sound like you just started. You know, simple things mm -hmm. like you say and you're going to... I have gonna, created the report you, for you. You, you, you. you have the report. Can I see the report, please? That's not how it works. Please try to understand. Once we will close this case, only then you will receive the reports. It says that your credentials, your... Do you have a Chase account, like Chase Bank? Do you have an account in that? Yes, Chase yes, Bank. Me. You asked me to log into my bank. I said I bank with Chase, and now you're asking me if I have a Chase bank account. Really? Uh, I already told you I had a Chase I, bank account. I, you need I'm to take sorry, notes. but I have not heard on that. You, you didn't take notes. Okay. Your credentials for your Chase bank account has been used at different different locations, and one is in Washington and uh, two is in chicago and we have found multiple locations they have your credentials they are trying to use it okay. to buy stuff and that is why yes that is why we were getting the, that error message like in the reports we got that message that okay, your banking so is at risk then i need to go to my bank and talk to them about it is what i'm thinking no no also because uh, you have a trojan if other people I'm, are, I'm providing information if, about it. If other people are logging into my Please bank, I need, to, I need to go to my bank and discuss yes, this Yes, of with course. Them. Uh, as your account is being used at multiple locations, like people are trying to get into your account. So in this scenario, if you will talk to your bank on the phone, uh, might be possible that your phone lines are also hacked. There is no secure lines right now because of the Trojan. Because of the network hack, uh, you will not be able to like call your bank, and if you will call your call, bank, I'm might be calling, possible that the I'm not calling my bank. I'm going to get in my car and go down to the bank. Okay, but if you will go to your bank and if you will talk to them about this, they will they don't know anything about it because they do not provide security. You're saying that my bank doesn't provide uh, security. Please. Why would my bank no, not provide have a procedure. security? If please somebody, try, can I can I first complete, please? Can I say please, what I'm can thinking? Can I complete first? If somebody logged in from it from New from Washington, you don't think my bank would know that? No. Really? Because if please I go to the sun, if I go to if I go to work and log into my bank, I get an email saying I signed in from a different location. So you're saying if somebody logs in. In Washington, I'm not going to get an email that says that somebody lo that you logged in from then another location. You can do accordingly from your end. Then, ma'am, like if you don't want to listen to me, that's okay. And if you want to do it in your way, you can also do that. But if something goes wrong, they already have your credentials. That's what I'm saying. If okay, your credential well, will be used for to buy stuff, yes. What, so, ma'am, we also have the procedure for that. We deal with that every day. So, we have the procedure for that. Please try to understand what I'm trying to say. You have a procedure. Okay, what's the procedure? In this procedure, we will simply write an email to your bank about the security breach. If you will call your bank, if you will visit your bank, because because of the Trojan virus, your networks line your network lines are hacked. Like if you will talk to somebody, it might be possible that the hackers can hear that and they can hear the credentials and it will be bad for you, right? And your bank don't know about this right now. So we have to inform your bank about it. What we have found on our server, if you will go to your bank, what you will tell them? Simply that your account is being used at different location. And That's why would I they would believe say, you? Yeah. Because you do not have any information. If I go to my bank, I would ask them, are there other people from different locations logging into my bank? I wouldn't say. I have information stating that other people mm -hmm. from, I would ask them, are other people logging into my bank? That's what I would ask them. Might be possible that they are the one who is trying to, uh, like, hack your account, or it might be possible. Okay, we are not sure right the now. Senior, the it's senior just manager what is we hacking do in my this bank? scenario. Yes, 
Why would the senior manager of my bank try to hack my account? It was just uh, the example. I'm not sure, and you're not sure about it. We just simply ask your bank to provide you like higher security, like put your account on the high, uh, like higher security mode. Only we can provide you the secure line because right now you are connected to the secure server of Microsoft, and only we can provide you that the secure line for the bank. Okay, so Does I can only sense? I can only call my bank using your secure line. Not our secure. Yeah, you can also say that, like the secure server. Why can't I just get in my car and go to the bank and tell them that there's a possible problem with my bank account? Uh, of course, you can also do that. Okay. But uh, what you will gonna tell them? I'm gonna tell them I talked to a a really, you do not... a really a really an interesting no, person named works. Stanley from Microsoft that says my banking might be okay. logged in from Washington and from other places. That's what mm -hmm. I would tell them, according mm -hmm. to Microsoft. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest you to catch those people. You just have to wait for now. Like, just wait for it. As Microsoft, we provide end-to-end -end services. Whatever that means. Okay. That's, that, sounded, that sounded really stupid, but whatever. No, it's not. I understand, like, it might sound stupid, but it's it not. It sounded stupid. Because no, these it's... are the services that we provide. Yes, okay. we provide end-to-end -end services. Like, yeah. This guy is limping along with the script. He, it's like he's shuffling the pages and saying, oh, I forgot to tell her this, and I forgot to tell her that. Sounds like he's at a cyber cafe is what I'm thinking. The date of birth that you have provided me, which is 12 October 1987, is it correct? That's correct. Because they are not able to validate it. That is why I'm asking again, just to make sure. Okay, do you need me to call my bank? Because I can call my bank. No, you don't have to call your bank. Especially from your device, while your network is not safe. Oh, so just can, uh, wait for I it. Can, I can get in my car and drive to my bank. I understand. I understand your concern. But we are not your bank. Like uh, we can only share the information with your bank about the security breach. They will get back to you. They will uh, like ask you all the security questions. Okay. We are all just right. doing our job, and we are just informing your bank to provide you higher security. Okay. I'm gonna get in my car and I'm gonna go to my bank and talk to them. I don't understand what you're doing. You're you're making no no sense. You're emailing my bank, and they're emailing you back, letting you talk to them about my account that's against the law they're not allowed to discuss my details with you either myself yes. or my husband will talk to the bank not you yes you are not authorized yes we are not talk talking to, to your bank. bank we are not allowed to do that do that in fact we are just informing them, them about the security beach and what we have found out right and they're sharing information about that's my all we are doing you're emailing my bank and they're sharing information that's personal to my to me with we are just you? Providing... Why would my bank share no, my personal information, information with you? That doesn't make sense. What's the email address? Uh, I'm sorry, What's... but we have to follow the procedure. And if you're not comfortable with that, like uh, that's okay. You can quit at any time, but it will be at your risk. I don't believe you're doing what you need okay. to be doing. I don't believe you. You sound like a stupid untrained person pretending to be a microsoft employee you're not you're not convincing me you sound like an idiot you can't get a job in india so you go to work for a company that pretends to be microsoft that's what i'm understanding you have no understanding of how banks work uh, you can you don't understand you don't uh, understand you you no you're a scumbag Okay, if you will use profanity, I'm going to have to disconnect this call, okay? That's because you're not really from Microsoft. You're working in some kind of cyber cafe or some kind of cheap shanty hut, and I can hear cars from the road because you can't afford a place to live that has privacy. You sound like a skunked out piece of shit that doesn't understand how to get a job. You're horrible. And why do you think that? Like, I have not asked you any of your personal information, right? I've I, asked you to uh, I kick me out I, first from I, your device. So 
I texted my bank and asked them, is Microsoft communicating with you? And they said, we never have communications with Microsoft. They told me you're not who you say you are. You're uh, a... Have you talked to your bank? No, I texted them. Okay, then you can leave them, okay? Like, uh, we cannot do anything in this scenario, you need, okay? You need to be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're, you're a scumbag. A piece of shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to disconnect this call. Thank you. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Bye-bye. I want, I want you to get a real life scammer. You suck at this. You're not going to succeed. You're too slow and too stupid to be a scammer. You can't even do that. So go wait tables, go work at McDonald's. Uh, I'm telling you, if I wanted to scam you, go, go I would have done that. Trash. Ma'am, get, if I wanted to trash. scam you, I would have done pick that. Pick up trash. Pick up trash. You can go pick up trash or work in a hospital cleaning bedpans. This is horrible.